maybe if we understand what prayer is, it helps to redefine how we pray. Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 4, the Bible says the entire Judah came together to ask help of God. What is prayer? Prayer is fulfilling the protocols and requirements of the deity whose help you are seeking for manifestation or assistance on earth. What is prayer? Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 says, Let us come boldly unto the throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace to help. So prayer is seeking the help of God on earth. Simple, straightforward. But is this what we understand prayer to be? What is prayer? Prayer is seeking the help of God on earth to manifest your desire which is in line with his promises to Jesus or his own desire. No spirit will operate in this realm without your seeking him for assistance even though the spirit desperately wants to manifest on earth, whether God or the devil. So this is what prayer is all about. When you understand that both God and evil spirit want dominion on earth, then it helps you to begin to understand what and how to pray. And the Bible now says in the book of Romans, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. It's important for you to begin to understand this nitty gritty. Chapter 8, verse 26, but I'll read from the Amplified Version. In the same way, the Spirit comes to us and helps us in our weakness. We do not know what prayer to offer or how to offer it as we should. But the Spirit Himself knows our need and at the right time intercedes on our behalf with sighs and groanings too deep for words. So the real prayer can only be done in the secret place of the Most High, under the shadow of the Almighty. And in that realm, we speak mysteries unto God. The lingua franca of God is called mystery. And so the best way to pray is to speak mysteries. And only the Holy Spirit can help us do that kind of prayers. What is prayer? Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 says, Call upon me, I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. So what is prayer? Prayer is seeking the help of God for approval of what he has promised or what he wants to birth to time. It is his will yet in he needs us to seek his help. I sought for a man among them who will stand in the gap. So prayer is seeking the help of spirit to assist on earth to manifest your desire or their desire. Do you now understand what prayer is? I think I will stop on that note on the basis of tonight and then you would take it up from there and begin to pray. But every spirit you pray to have laid down protocols that must not be broken before you can get their attention. Are you with me, child of God? For instance, the Bible says the prayer of the wicked is abomination to the Lord. Even though I will lift up my head upon unto the ear from whence cometh my help, my help cometh from the Lord. Okay, Proverbs 15 verse 29. The Lord is far from the wicked. You already know who a wicked person is. We studied this. But he heareth the prayer of the righteous. He hears the prayer of the righteous. Listen, verse, 20, verse 8. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord. But the prayer of the upright is his delight. So there are protocols to prayer. That's why you see most times... When I'm leading you in prayer and those who have learned this, you come boldly by the new and the living way, having your conscience purged, having yourself cleansed with the blood of Jesus because the eye of the Lord is too pure to be old iniquity. So what is prayer? 
prayer is fulfilling the requirement of the deity in question to seek his help to manifest his desire or your desire in line with his desire on earth. That is what prayer is all about. So now we go ahead and just minister to the Lord. Just minister to the Lord in the Holy Ghost. Just minister to the Lord in the Holy Ghost. Minister to the Lord in the Holy Ghost tonight. Zele Kuraman Zakura means a Geshek to Frini Andash. What is prayer? Prayer is an offering. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? You won't believe this, but this is the truth. Prayer is what? An offering. You know, and there is a way it must be done to delight God. Prayer is what? Everybody is a kind of offering. Hallelujah to Jesus. Now, I'll, let me quickly show you what that means. Because Isaiah 56 verse 7, Jesus quoted this. He said, my house shall be called the house of prayer, not a den of lion. Okay. But Hebrews chapter 5 verse 7 says, Jesus, who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers. So you see, prayer is an offering and supplication with strong cries and tears. Prayer is an offering. When you do prayer wrongly, it will never get to God. The other day I was showing you 1 John 5, 14 and 15, how prayer ought to be done in intelligent prayer. Again, today we are looking at it. Prayer is an offering. And if prayer is an offering, you must understand the protocols. David said, I will enter his gate with thanksgiving. I will enter his court with praise. Prayer is an offering and the deity to whom you are praying to have got protocols to be followed before your prayer can be heard. If we know that he heard us, if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. But there is a way that we need to ask. He asks you receive not because he asks amiss. So prayer is an offering and there must it must be done according to the prerequisite of God. All right, now, having heard that, let me show you another beautiful scriptures that prove this to you. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 8 verse 3. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer. There was given unto him much incense that he should offer it with the prayer of all saints, all of us. All saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne. So you see, prayer is an offering. Zakurabasi labo, zekoka sakura ika sopre ingredoska. I like you to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost, brothers and sisters. Minister to the Lord in the Holy Ghost. Zeli baha la kozeli korodase kedia. Pray in the Holy Ghost is the best way to offer your prayer the right way to offer your prayer pray in the holy ghost oh hallelujah father we bless your name we bless your name Alaba in jesus name we are praying romans chapter 8 verse 4 says and the smoke of the incense which came listen to this when you pray this is what happened that therefore tells you so many prayers you are praying are nonsensical because before your prayer is heard, it goes through protocols. Before your prayer ever reach God, it must pass certain protocols. <laughs> in the old tabernacle, these protocols were given. Sacrifices are going forward in the outer court. And in the inner court, protocols must be obeyed by the priest. And the old, in the holy of holy, the priest must do it accordingly. And when the sacrifice is accepted, the Shekinah glory descend. Many of us are from Africa. You will hear that the gods have accepted the sacrifice. And they will give you sign that the sacrifices have been accepted when they offer request for the help to their gods. They will tell you where I came from, Eboafi, Eboagba. They have to offer certain sacrifice that has been prescribed by this deity 
before they come to ask for the help of that deity. How on earth do you think you will pray to the most high God, he that answered prayer to whom all flesh came, without fulfilling the protocols and the requirement as laid down in the scripture? Paul, the apostle by the Holy Ghost, told us we need to come by the new and the living way. You don't just batch in on God. Don't do it. There are protocols. There are prerequisites. It is an offering. So when you make noise and you thought God had, he never had. Prayers go through protocols. Acts of Apostles chapter 10, Cornelius, thy prayers and thy arms has come as a memorial before God. You see, it was not just his prayer, arms were going with it. I've taught you how to accelerate answers. There are proto is an offering. You saw the angels stood by the altar and gave incense that were burnt and listen to what happened to the prayer when you pray and the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints ascended up before God out of the angel's hand what is prayer child of God revelation 5 7 to 9 and he, he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne and when he had taken the book the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lord, the Lamb, having every one of them harps, golden vows, full of odors. Remember in chapter 4, the odor ascended up before God. As soon as the odor began to ascend, the 24 elders as a job with the prayer of the saint. Look at what they do to your prayer. Hey, hey, it's somebody in the spirit tonight, which are the prayers of saints and they sang a new song saying thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof for thou was slain and hast redeemed us to god by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation you saw even when your prayer are sent up by the incense in the hands of the angels the 24 elders gather the smoke the 24 elder gather the odor, and with the odor inside the golden vials, they still perform rituals of worship alongside. A lot of things happen, brethren. Instead of you making noise like a sounding bass and tinkling cymbal, you need to understand how to offer prayer to make it an acceptable sacrifice unto God. Prayer is not noise making, brothers and sisters. Prayer is an offering and it must be done the right way before it can gather answers from God. That's why some of your prayers are ever delayed. That's why some of your prayers are ever delayed. That's why some of your prayers are ever delayed. In Isaiah 58, I showed you, he said, don't come fasting without helping the needy. Zike mamo zakia la kuse kedishka. Zazuruna ike zoprodi yadasa. Sasa kuria. The Lord shall remember your offering and send the help out of Zion. Another requirement of prayer thou shalt delight thyself in the Lord thy God and he shall grant the desire of your heart. So you can't come to pray to God, sulky, cry. He said, Come boldly. Delight yourself. Delight yourself. He said, man of God, what about if what I'm going through is, is not delight? So it's your problem now because I'm showing you how you should pray. <laughs> delight thyself in the Lord your God. You want answer, don't you? He shall grant the desire of your heart. He shall grant the desires of your heart. Your desire remains ungranted unless you are delighted. Daraboko sik da hataboria. Zikopo zaziza nemenosa katishke liya bronanze kete. Pray in the Holy Ghost, brothers and sisters. Oh Lord, thank you. This is what you want tonight. Ah, 
Seleka pa re mahuka zeki kasako pa sapie lehato rakande koria ba inge supahi ketela roba kazali rende kopasi la kopa shele paroba hige koroda kasako ta. In Jesus name we pray. Don't come praying to God without fulfilling the requirement. It's an offering. Psalm 37 verse 4. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. What things whoever ye desire. When ye pray, it is desire that takes you to pray. There are things you need the help of God for. But he said, don't come sulking. Don't come crying. Come boldly. Come with delight. Pura asik to frenina masuk te frudiata. Come by the new and the living way. Come with precious seed. He that goeth, bearing precious seed, weep it, shall doubtless come again, bringing his chiefs with him. Zasuvrinama sik to fridia sata. Okay, Psalm 141. Psalm 141 verse 2. Let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. <laughs> Did you hear that? Prayer is a sacrifice. Prayer is a sacrifice. So it must be done acceptably. Let me read it for you in the nearest context. Amplified version says, Let my prayer be counted as incense before you. The lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Give it to you from ESV version. Let my prayer be counted as an incense before you and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. That's why you see in some orthodoxical church where they worship the devil and you think they are worshiping God, they are forever blowing incense. It is because the devil understood the technology. He was a staff in the courtroom of God. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? You can't pray successfully without incense. This time around, it's not going to be a physical incense, so to say. But look, what if you baptize your prayer room with some powerful aroma? Those of us who knows there is an incense that comes from the presence of God. He told Moses to tell Aaron the kind of perfume that must be worn by the priest and the one that is holy, most holy unto the Lord. God loves incense and the odor of that incense perfume of the lord anyone that uses it dies no one can use the incense of the lord it's special make the place of his feet beautiful if it's a corner of your room you set up as an altar put some beautiful perfume somebody will call you all kinds of names but you have an understanding from the scripture no man should expect prayer to be answered when they have not fulfilled the requirement that you are hearing today from my son. I am a God of protocol and those protocols must be fulfilled adequately even within the New Testament before answer can proceed from me. All he is saying to you is that understand the requirement that bring the word out of my mouth to you. Impress me. Create my environment. I am a God of protocols. He said, let everything be done decently and in order. So if you don't follow the order of prayer, forget answers. Forget Rema. Let my prayer be like incense placed before you. If you read Exodus chapter 30 verse 7 to 8, Revelation chapter 5 verse 8. And my praise, the lifting of my hands, like the evening sacrifice. Prayer is not noise making brothers and sisters. Prayer is not just shedding tears like crocodile. Prayer is a sacrifice. When you do it accordingly, answers are guaranteed. Come boldly. Come by the new and the living way. Come with pure heart. Come with cleansed hand. Come with forgiveness. Come with forgiveness. 
That's why he had to pray for his friends first of all before God will turn out again his captivity. I'm talking about Job. Pray for thy friend. And after Job has prayed for his friend, the Lord turned his captivity and blessed him twice as before. This are the ways of the Lord. God taught Israel his ways and Moses his ways and Israel, his wonders, his works. The ways of the Lord are not compromised. He said that you do it his way, you will never get his answers. Thank you, Jesus. Come with humility. Come prepare sacrificially. Come having forgiven others. And to accelerate answer, find somebody to help. Look, he that giveth to the poor shall not lack. He shall cry unto me. And I will not hear him if he has ignored the cry of the poor. No. You need to prepare for some prayers. There are emergency prayers you can pray. And even after you have done those emergency prayers, fulfill the protocols in areas. <laughs> there are things. Oh my goodness, help me tonight. Let me give you that scripture so that you hear tonight. You are under arrest by the Holy Ghost. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. So you don't come with iniquity. Purity guaranteed. God to be hearing your prayer. Whoever shut his ear to the cry of the poor, what will happen? The Lord will not hear him. Don't go and pray if you have been shutting your ears to the cry of the poor. Don't try it. Zikarado <laughs> zakila manure. Karabasikidi. Proverbs 21 verse 13. Whoso stoppeth his ears at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard. Sing all the song you can sing from morning to night. God will not hear your prayer. If you have not been answering the cry of the poor, problematic. Deal with her according to wisdom. Deal with your wife according to knowledge. Lest your prayer be in that. <laughs> you see that? Don't go pray when you're abusing your wife. And 1 Corinthians chapter 11 tells you as a woman, don't go pray if you are not a subject to your husband. <laughs> Ooh, are, we, are we hearing? This is why your prayer never answered. Cry all you want. Cry. Cry all you want. It won't change the price of bread. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We bless your name, Holy Ghost. We thank you for what you have revealed to us tonight. 1 Corinthians chapter 3. 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Likewise, your husband dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto weaker vessel, has been here together of the grace of life that your prayers be not in that so nagging wife talkative wife frustrating wife if you are if you are truly a helper of destiny learn to allow the prayer of your husband to be answered otherwise you will suffer and your children we are looking at what is prayer. Be a forgiving wife as quickest as you can. Salia Kuria Sakatuski. Let me show the, you, the, you the one for the woman. First Corinthians 11. Zekupa ike zesu zinianas. Sakuri eke si ale katubalasha. Many nanas kotke frini masopia. This knowledge lack many. And the reason why many of my children's life have no more glory to talk about. But this day have I shown mercy on you that if you will act in and apply that which my son preaches to you and you have the understanding by revelation that which you are hearing and you apply them accordingly, you shall begin to live a transformed life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. First Corinthians chapter 11. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. 
1 Corinthians 11. Everybody, wherever you may be, this is one scripture that women don't like. I'll show you the one that some men don't like. Hallelujah to Jesus. I've been preaching this for a long time as a young pastor. You tell your wife as a pastor, you better understand the nitty gritty because when the pastor's wife is unhappy, no pastor should go to preach because every congregation member will be affected. It means the prayer and the prophecy of that pastor over you is a waste. That's how you know the importance of the pastor's wife. So when you are praying for your pastor, make sure you don't leave the wife behind because she's more problematic than whatever you think the pastor is. She has the power to hinder the pastor's prayer over your life because the Bible says the prayer of the husband shall be in that and look at how foolish you can be now your husband has been praying for 100 million dollar project or one one billion dollar project and you use your ignorance to hinder that prayer who suffers who is going to answer who will suffer help me to answer that question hey zila le gozo godu shabadiya leila who is going to suffer the whole family Wife. Who suffer most? <laughs> the wife. <laughs> Hallelujah to Jesus. If I look at who will suffer most. <laughs> we give you praise. All right. First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 5. But every woman that prays or prophesies with her head uncovered, which means she is not under the authority of her husband, dishonors her head. Ed in this context has already been explained to you in verse 1 and 2. There is no argument. For that is even all one as if she were shaving. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shown. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shown or shaving, let her be covered. For in a man indeed ought not to cover his head, physical, for as much as he is the image and the glory of God. Here Apostle is addressing cultural matters. But there is a wisdom here. But the woman is the glory of the man. The woman is the glory of the man. The woman is the glory of the man, not of God. The woman is the glory of the man, not of God. The woman is the glory of the man, not of God. She was taken out of man. She shall be called woman. From the beginning, she was meant to be under authority. All right. A seeker. For the man is not of the woman. But the woman is of the man. That's the equation of God. That's why you must be under authority of a man. For this cause ought the woman to have power. Did you hear what the Bible say? When you are under the authority of a man, what do you have over your life? Power on our head. What is the man in a woman's life? Power. So you understand principality and power, ka? Kaye my name and name Zakata. You can't do it your way and want to get God's result. That's why the life of many women are miserable. But the, for this cause ought the woman to have power, authority on her head because of what? The angels. It means there is a connection between your submission and the angelic ministries. No angel will minister to an argumentative woman, a nagging woman, a disobedient woman, a disrespectful woman. No angel will minister to her. And if angel will not minister to you, who suffers? La sakata. Protocols has been listed for us. Let's put them together. But before we go, I give you two more of those requirements to make the prayer offering standardized. John 15, 7. If you abide in me and my word abide, my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. So don't go pray without having to abide in him. Let me give you one more. First John 3:22. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandment and do those things which are pleasing in his sight. So these are some of the factors you must tick before you ever start praying. <laughs> it's not that you wake up in the morning and say, guru, guru. You, many of you have wasted years thinking you are praying to a God who never heard you once. Only mercy has kept you. So stop guessing life. Start living the real life. What is prayer? Prayer is seeking help from God. What is prayer? Prayer is an offering. That help will never come until you fulfill 
the prerequisite. So every time you begin to pray, the angels in the department of prayer opened a file for you and began to score you and began to, is he in forgiveness? Take. Is he in holiness? Does he love the brethren? Is he in loggerhead with his wife or husband? They are marked. If you fail in one, no prayer will go to God. <laughs> thy prayers and thy arms. Has he been giving to the poor? Has he been answering prayer for the poor? If you fail one, forget about answer. Glory to God. Amen. But if you're Lou, I know you have been praying. What did you have to your knowledge tonight? just uh, waking up and just speaking to God. There are protocols to follow. There are, there are offerings, different kinds of offerings to to give and to follow when, when you're offering prayers. Um, those are the things that move God to answer our prayers, not just us uh, blabbing and just saying. So we need to have um, an altar and uh, to have specific things that we do, you know, to, to, to get the heart of God when we pray. Absolutely. When a woman wants to get the heart of the husband, what will she do? In fact, teachers, what do, what do you do when you want to get the heart of that apostle of God? <laughs> And then bring good of in form of a nice meal and try to If those offerings coming from good food, good smell, midnight offerings, praises, you will not get the best from your husband. That's why the Bible says marriage is a prototype of the relationship between the church and and the Lord. I believe you've been blessed and your prayer life has changed. This is what he sent me to do. No more Christianity as usual. We cannot continue at doing things that has not produced result for us. And I desire that you will transform, you will change and be all that God deems us to be. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise God forevermore. Marcelia, Father, we thank you for what you've done with us and for us tonight. This, we shall prove it in Jesus' name. So the protocols of prayer are obviously different uh, depending on what you are looking to, you know, for, you know, answers or rather mirror. So um, I think the preachings have been made earlier on on how to go about it, the protocols and the rituals. So you can get into the catalog and release in. If it's health, you will be taught on which protocols need to be followed. Okay, if it's uh, financial uh, matters, if it's um, business or professional, all those have been <coughs> laid out adequately so that you can pray intelligently now. You know, we don't have to pray uh, missing the point or praying anyhow our prayers are all over the place we have to have a systematic way of prayer as prescribed um, which will give us answers in the name of jesus so let's do the practicing practicing is very very important and and sing to it that all the procedures or rather the the stipulated um, steps uh, are followed then we can get results because what we want are results we can't be you know praying um, amiss, we have to pray in the right order so that speedy, you know, uh, results, speedy prayers, speedy answers shall shall come in Jesus' name. So thank you very much, everyone, for coming. We love you, and uh, we'll hear more miracles. We'll hear God answering um, all of us speedily because we shall follow the protocols and do the rituals accordingly in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, the